So the first theorem was girls, uh, girls are evils. So the, this statement proof started from here and it is here. So that, that is the proof, the first theorem. And the second theorem is kind of a offshoot out of this sort of thing. So this is obviously this is created by boy and uh, some girl uh, claimed the uh, boys are root of all evil and the uh, and uh, the assumption what I heard before I don't know again the origin of it but uh, the starting point what I heard before that's what I knew was uh, boys are defined boys are simply nothing more than power over another boys so that's 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 basically. I use the equation one, two, three, four. So let's say this one is equation five. Let's call this one is equation six. Yeah, and then uh, then so the if you re rewrite this one, power and boys to go to the other side. Then power become boy boys times the boys, so become nothing more than boys square. Let's call it equation seven. Yeah. And uh, another thing uh, that something we can think about is uh, absolute. You you heard it before. Absolute power equals absolute corruption. So uh, how do you juggle with this? So absolute power, mathematically absolute value of power equals absolute value of uh, corruption. Let's call it equation eight. Yes, and uh, that means uh, if you uh, take this out and if you solve it, that means the uh, power equal plus minus corruption. If you have learned the, the so I'm going to call this one is equation nine. So power equal uh, corruption plus plus minus corruption. If you learned it probably like uh, eighth grade or something. Now, if you plug this power into here, so equation 9 into there, plug into there, then what happened? Then what happened is, uh, uh, boys basically then all become all full circle. That gives you power from here equal boys, uh, boys squares. And the power is a uh, plus minus corruptions here. So they are in full circle, yes? So in that sense, boy, boys square can be only positive. So in this case, you can think about only absolute value, only positive value. That means this gives you boys. Uh, uh, boys are the boys. Boys square is a corruption. Yes, boys square equal corruption. And then that means boy equal square root of uh, corruption. Now, let's call it equation 10. Just there is a one more step or so. And then the, there is a, some will say, another fundamental assumption is that corruption is evil. So corruption equals evil. Let's call it equation 11. Now I'm going to plug this 11 into 10. If you plug this equation 11 into 10, see what happened. Boy equal corruption is replaced by evil. Boy equal square root of evil. So this was, a, I suppose, a revenge of a, some girls, and they think that I heard about this. So the rest I had to fear of myself. But I heard this assumption before. So the girls. Boy climbed, girl concluded theorem number one, girl is evil. And then girl's revenge, and I'm going to call this one is a theorem theorem number two, and the boy equals square of evil. Now it's going to intensify and getting even more intricate. So uh, try to see how amusing the, so far the result is, and uh, I'll be right back. The program is designed to revolutionize the education for math, physics, and chemistry. The first two math series for 5th to 10th grade students are to be released in February 2013. USL Math for Pre-Calculus and Calculus as well as Physics and Chemistry will be released afterwards. If you are intrigued, please share and follow Facebook and Twitter.
and don't forget to subscribe for First Ray of Light YouTube channel and check the website as well. Thank you. Have a good day.